What's up YouTube, for today's video we have a Center Scorch sweep. Center Scorch is basically a big old centipede and it's a fire and bug type which is a pretty interesting type. I've been meaning to do a little video with this Pokemon for a while. Definitely one of my favorite uh, Generation 8 designs. What's your favorite Generation 8 Pokemon design? Let me know in the comment section of the video. Now if there's a Pokemon uh, you'd like to see, preferably a Gen 8 one, let's see if we're going to get some of these Gen 8 Pokemon going. Leave below in the comment section if you've got a strategy you think is really cool or you want me to try something out please put it below um i am actually been looking through my comment section and i found some interesting uh, comment stuff that i'm going to do um make sure you check me out on twitter patreon and twitch as well if you want to watch those live streams you want to check out um sometimes i put updates on my twitter when i'm putting out videos and such all right um so we got a double upload tonight as well so i've got one video now and there's going to be one video later on yes it's another pokemon sweet video and the day after tomorrow we've got the, the start of the theme team. So that's going to be interesting too. I'll still be working the Pokemon sweeps in between that too, but they'll be on the sort of like the latter days of the week. All right, this was a battle on the, the Ycom and this one was against Natsu. And we've got a uh, Roltz lead here. I mean Salts. This is named after my level one uh, Roltz uh, sweep on YouTube. Okay, uh, so this set was pretty much going to be setting up a Trick Room. Now, I uh, want this one, in case it comes up against like a, a more of a, a slower Pokemon, I just went for the Thunder Wave, and then I just go for Mento afterwards. Now, one thing I wanted to say too, if um, you don't know this, or you haven't uh, actually Wi-Fi battled yourself, the stadiums actually change every battle. Um, I didn't actually know that until I did like quite a few battles in a row, and then I noticed the actual stadiums you battled and changed. So it's not like all the other previous games with the background just stays the same and the same the whole time. It actually changes. So like this one had this fire one, and then I had like the normal uh, one, and then I had the grass uh, stadium. So I think that's really cool, like a cool feature. Anyway, so we got a Dynamax here. I'd say it would have been a Gear Max if that Pokemon was out. And uh, this one is uh, quite a. Actually, I did uh, Toxtricity yesterday. So if you haven't checked my Toxtricity set out, make sure you do. It's uh, rather overpowered. All right, so my old Toxtricity is going to play the guitar there. And this thing is a very high uh, special attacker. So I've got to do something to this so I can actually swap my Pokemon in. So we got. To, I'm assuming that was Venoshock there. And I've got to focus Sash on my Rolt so I can just, you know, get up with one Trick Room there. I've also got Protect in, but since I know this thing doesn't have anything like Fake Out and things like that, um, I didn't bother going for it. So setting up that Trick Room there, this isn't an overly fast Pokemon, but my Center Scorch isn't a really fast Pokemon either. I'm running for more of like a bulk except I won't say too much more. I'll give my full explanation, at, you know, at the end of the video, like always, with my team build. Man, that, that looks so massive compared to Rolts. Like, look at little Rolts uh, next to the Tox uh, Toxtricity. Man, that, na that name's going to be, like, super hard for me to get. Okay, so I'm just waiting for them to make their move. Like, this, this person took a long time to make their move. Also, there's only a 20-minute um, time limit in these battles, so... You know, you really, really have to get your battle done because that 20 minutes goes like super, super fast. Okay, so going for the Memento there on the uh, Toxtricity, I'm going to obviously faint to that one. That's going to drop its special attack by two stages. So at the moment, it's got negative one in special attack because it did get one from the, uh, you know, the Venoshock boost. Okay, so now we're going to swap in the Dugtrio. I'm going to drop this thing's special attack even further. I'm trapping it in with the Arena Trap. It cannot swap. Um, I'm assuming it's just going to go for like, um, you know, if it's got Boom Burst, something like that. And uh, how it's going to go for the Max Strike, which I'm guessing is coming off, you know, Boom Burst there. So that doesn't take, mo holy moly, uh, down to its Focus Ash. Well, I mean, it's got negative one in Special Attack already. And uh, now we're going to go for a second Memento. And that is going to be enough to send in my uh, Center Scorch. Hope I said that name right. And uh, so down goes holy moly. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I'll do the team strategy at the end of the battle.
right, people, let's have a look at the build and the strategy for this Sandy Scorch. That was a rather interesting battle. Now, I actually had quite a few uh, counter mons against me there. Before we get into the theme strategy, I want to talk about the battle for a little sec. So, we had the uh, Power Whip coming in super handy there against the Rhydon. Now, I had the Charty Berry. If I didn't have that Charty Berry, you know, I was definitely down there. So, that was really good to bring that in because that actually powers down Rock type moves, and Sandy Scorch is four times weak to Rock, right? And uh, that Power Whip actually really helped there. The Trick Room actually worked against me that time because because Rhydon's a fairly slow Pokemon, so uh, it, it was sort of unfortunate that I had that Trick Room up there. But uh, I did sustain a lot of damage, but, uh, you know, I still managed to get through it. Now, the uh, Weavile only had beat up and beat. Obviously, it only had beat up as a Dark type move. If you use an Ice type move, that net definitely wouldn't have taken me out. And I had a lot of coils up as well, so it didn't do hardly any damage. And I was able to withstand the uh, two beat ups and, uh, you know, take it out with a Leech Life and restain, like, retain my health uh, with that recovery too. Okay, let's have a look at my team. So we had the Rolt set up. We had Trick Room, Memento, uh, Protect, and Thunder Wave. You guys seen that one already. And we had the Diglett and Doug Tree. These Pokemon are, like, super handy, um, you know, in a lot of, like, different situations. Now, let's have a look at the main man, uh, Center Scorch. So we have Fire Lash. Fire Lash is a really cool move. Um, it's a fire stab move. It's physical, and obviously when you hit the opponent, it drops their defense one stage. So you can keep like snowballing and snowballing and snowballing. Um, it's sort of like getting like a plus one and it's like it you know attack every time. So uh, the only bad thing is if they do swap out, you sort of lose that. So I went for a core one instead. Now I went for Leech Life and Power Whip on there. That was the best coverage I could do. The only Pokemon that really like rumbled me was Charizard. Like Charizard ended my sweep every single time. I did have one moment where I actually tanked a. Uh, two max airstreams from a uh, um, a Gigamax Charizard, but um, the, the first one actually dropped my special offense and I ended up losing. So yeah, I had a max attack and max speed on this one, but the one I used in the suite was actually not that. That was max health and max special offense. You would have actually realized I'm fairly tanky. Now, Coil made up all for my attack and defense. It also fixed my accuracy as well on Power Whip. Power Whip's a little bit of shaky accuracy. You know, so it worked and looked really nicely all around. However, you could definitely go with the max attack and max speed one. I'd probably suggest some sort of like web support or something because it's not a very fast Pokemon. And uh, we had the Charty Bear on there, of course, for the super effective rock type moves. All right, uh, that concludes the Sandy Scorch uh, team build. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There'll be a second one out later on. Peace out.